Boop. Our review. Zooper John, Finny Rob. A very thinky and spooky game. All right, we've played this now several times. This game is the basic boop. The only difference besides the artwork, which is very nice, is that they have these ghosts that we each have that will cause chaos as they move across the seams of the board. Sort of set it, forget it, and it does some chaos. Now, we love an abstract game. We love Yinch. We have played several other games. Yep. Gip, we have played Orion Duel, several of the run our Knizia games. Let's face it, Babylonia is pretty much an abstract game. Blue Lagoon, Through the Desert, we just love an abstract game. Chess Plus, I think I have a playlist. If not, I'll make one, but I'm pretty sure I do of abstract games. I'll put it up here. Now, I like this game. There's no luck involved. Immediately, it's got that chess-like attrition of the mind which I love. And this game, originally, I was not really interested in a game called Boot because it looks like some cutesy little thing that, eh, it's like a child's game. Actually, it's very thinky, but it does have the chaotic effect of the boop mechanism, which basically is you play something and you push other things away. So there's more of a spatial puzzle that actually kind of has layers to it. So it, it, I never feel comfortable when I'm playing this because I always feel like I'm missing something, which oftentimes I am. Yeah, one of the, I would say this is a great intro into the abstract. So if you've seen some of those that are more thinky, like Gip for Yinch or something like that, if you, if you watch those, you're like, well, that's a lot to think of. This gets you into it. There's not a lot of mechanisms though that you have to worry about. The adding the I would recommend your first play, don't play it with the ghost cats, just to get the hang of it. I agree. And you realize the mechanism isn't overly complex. You have to think, you can think a few moves in advance, but really, I don't know what you're gonna play. I just have to count for, what you're limited in what you're gonna do in the next move. So there is there is that abstract thinky, but it's not so much so that it's overwhelming. It's, at some point, I'm just gonna play and let's watch it roll out. I think you're right on that. I think if you overthink this one, you're going to be disappointed because at the end of the day, you're probably missing something. And then when you see it, everything's going to get split apart. Now, I guess if if you play this game two, three times a day and you get so into it that you almost know every single move that might be possible based on the, the lay of the board at the moment it's your turn, which I guess great abstract games do have that going for it. Chess, there are, yeah. you know, people that will look at a board and go, oh, I can see the next six moves that are possible. But also if you're doing that, you probably need a life and there's not much we can do for you on this channel. Or you're a chess master and you're not going to play boop. That's, I don't, a, just fair point. I, that's how I feel about that. I think the artwork is great. I would always choose a Halloween theme over another theme. Now, you could say, well, you just don't, you won't play this in the summer, but I don't see that. Usually in the summer, I'm hoping that it's going to be fall, fall soon. <laughs> so it's, you know, nice to get a beverage, a nice little cider or something with a spice of some sort and play a game like this. What's great about this is you have the, the option of using the ghost, but you can also play it without the ghost. Whereas with the main game, I guess you could get a token and make it a ghost and pretend that yeah. you're playing this version. Uh, otherwise, I don't see any downside to this game. It plays in what, about 20 minutes? Yeah, I think so. It feels like you're gonna play faster just because of your, you're, you're putting pieces out. But once you start scattering pieces that go off the board, you can get into some, right. some long loops, but you're always setting something up. So I'd say about 15 or 20 minutes for a two player game. It feels like a two out of three type of game where you yeah. play it and you play again and you play again. And then the other thing is, even if it does drag on for some reason, because the the moves get more complex and you're in a groove, it doesn't feel like there's any downtime because you're really thinking about the thing that you're gonna do next. It, it, it's a brain burner. It doesn't look like a brain burner uh, based on the cute stuff, but it really is a brain burner. And I like the whole concept of the board kind of fits yeah. on top of the box. It's this little quilty bed mattress there's some some uh smart mechanisms in the rules for example 
if you play out all of your kittens onto the board, oh no, what do you do? Oh, you can graduate one to a cat. Now you're now you've got some. If you've got all of yours out, you can do different things. So it's the the rules have some good mechanism. We thought of several questions before playing that we looked up. They covered most of those in the rule book right fairly in the rule well. Book. I thought the rule book covered just about everything. Had very very little left to question in there. Now, my only recommendation when you're playing is this. Sometimes this can feel a little bit if you're playing on the on the box like we are here. You can always just play it flat on a table like that, and you don't have that that issue but that's true this, this is a little bit puffy and sometimes your pieces can roll but it's not it's easily oh no my cat fell over i just pick it up you're not doing a lot of damage here well it's a very portable game too it's a you know less than a foot this is on any side total so. size of the box here yeah so and actually there's more room in the box than you need you could fold this up and pack the pieces in if you know the rules you can take it anywhere yeah a good oh, overall a, a good game Pretty quick. You know you're not in for a like quick five minute game. It'll take 15, 20 minutes. But if you're sitting around at a, at a bar or something like that, you just want to do something, then Boop's a good game. You may have to be, I don't know how you play Boop manly like if you've got all these kittens about, but you, a real man doesn't care. I agree. Says one real man to another, whatever a real man is. Well, those are our thoughts about Boop. If this were some sort of rating on BGG or something, I think I would give this about a 7.5 because I do think it's better than a lot of games that, that purport to be abstract games and no luck and, and that sort of thing. I feel like there's a little bit more here with that, that one mechanism with the booping actually adds something to the game. So I think it's a 7.5 if I were doing it on that scale. So uh, keep that in mind if you've seen any of the other ratings I've put on my games on BGG. The game is accessible. It's it's readily you could sit down and play with a number of people. The rules aren't hard, so you got a, a big age group. People who don't care for the abstract aren't going to care for this game, no matter what. They'll say, "Oh, I can play. I just don't want to think through all that stuff." People who like abstract, the very complex ones, may not like it because it's not overly complex. It's just, hey, if I like complex, I like an assortment of games like to play. This is a good one to get out and just play. Well, Fenny Mon, who's been on the channel, my wife, she cannot stand this game because it is too it's mean. much thinky. It's it's too much pressure really to not to not do something right, which is also funny because at times she doesn't like games that have over <laughs> luck oh too much luck. So I think basically if she wins a game, she likes it. I think we've we've established yeah. that. And and the fact that she's playing with you is probably the other downside. That's true. You're always losing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for bearing with us.